Good afternoon. We will leave to Ecuador with a statement of by the National Electoral Council about the organization of ill elections after President Lasso dissolved the National Assembly based on Article 148 of the Constitution. Let's listen. Asimismo, Likewise, las áreas técnicas the technic areas are in the task and in the task of doing everything possible, everything doing possible to achieve the budget and the task of the 2023, it is important that the citizens know that the ones who are elected Will, will be elected to govern in a period and their functions will be until May 23, 2025. Besides, it is important to inform that the, uh, the area and the jurisdiction is working in creating a new ruling, a new specific ruling to this, electoral, to this extraordinary electoral process with the aim of achieving all the goals that the code declares and to guarantee all the rights of participation to all the uh, actors. The Regarding this, the Council ratifies the Ecuadorian people the commitment to to, uh, to carry out the electoral process clear and transparent, the same that requires that every actor involved join together in order to have stability and above all that this new moment that Ecuador is going through it threatens our democracy. The electoral function is ready, and for that reason, it is necessary to have to have immediately, once the budget is approved, that it will be planified with the criteria of authority without putting in rest the quality of the electoral process. The council will continue with the tra uh, with the with the way uh, that was marked through the electoral process stated in the in the polls that has been recognized by the actors in the international area as well as the as well as with the organi international organizations. Ecuador has been has been located as an example in the international arena and that we will keep we will keep that being a referent region for all of that i call i call to all the poli political actions to carry out this electoral process with the maturity and responsibility that characterizes because the difficult condition of the country demand demand that Gentlemen, this is this is the declaration of the function, and as a president, I I state to the to the country, you can ask whatever you want. Thank you, President. To everyone, you can you can ask your questions. You can say your name and the uh, the place where you belong, and you can ask your questions. That in order that uh, a lot of people know the questions that you're going to ask. You can raise your hands so we can start. Authorities, how are you? Good afternoon to all of you. My name is Juan Pablos from the uh, council. What is happening? I would like to I would like to clarify what is happening with the legislature. That is the second term. But once the assembly was dissolved, they did not end and the period could they participate in these elections or uh, is this peer this peer will count even though they did not finalize it and also authorities of the uh, council i would like i would like you to explain about the changes that are going to happen especially in the subject of the uh, 50 50 percent of women and men and young people that will be something new in the electoral process thank you authorities
Well, I would like to start with the second part, and it refers to the, the participation of women. It has to be in a progressive way. The law determines it, however, making a, a process the, uh, the jurisdiction is analyzed to, to abort the subjects that should be adopted to these electoral processes that, that, that are not in accordance with other, uh, with other dates of the uh, democracy. We want to be prudent and subjects such as, simple such as those, we are going to talk we are going to talk about that and we will inform how the conditions will be and we will always have and we will always have the conditions in accordance with the law of the constitution likewise how it is considered as re-election the law is very clear in regarding that we have had experience in which they renounced they renounced for uh, for the pronounce of the uh, presidency, for instance, as the one who is going to substitute, it is considered as a relation or not. It's a subject that we are going to analyze it. And in this sense, like he did not end uh, the period for which he was elected, this means that it does not apply his re-election, does not affect his re his relation. The subject, the subjects, we would like to to would like that the citizen will know all of this because we are we are only a few hours that we received this uh, declaration and we should take it with responsibility and uh, have all the information very clear and precise and there is uh, in the constitutional law. Thank you. Good afternoon, authorities of the uh, Channel Five. From fight, I would like. I would like for you to confirm if this uh, new electoral process, it will stop this uh, resuming of the electoral process in the where some member of the council should be uh, resumed. And you should also talk about 90 days, 90 days that you have for this electoral new process, and that is including this including a new term in the election process before November, we will we'll, we'll have new electoral authorities. Thank you. Yes, the authorities in working with the subject of uh, renovation of the electoral council is a council of participation of a control. They will have to analyze all the uh, legal elements and constitutional elements in order to have a decision. The Code of Democracy is very clear in this sense, and once when he has arrived, the electoral process, it could not be any interference. And nothing should be linked to this. The situation, we cannot answer this. It will be the one who have the decision. The Council of Participation is the one who have the decision. It was in an electoral process, and in several electoral process, let's say, it, and we have the we have to do the national uh, suggestions of Yasunia. We have to talk about that subject and the Andino as well. We also have the selection of the elections that are in a electoral process that are going on. There are various subjects that we have to take into account. We should we should worry well with the announcement of the authorities that are on in charge. We are worried. We are worried, and we have should achieve the responsibility until the last day that we do our functions. Regarding 90 days, there is a, a lot of other has made a, an alternative plan, and you include the uh, the second term, the second or third term. The law is clear. There are only 90 days to count the elections, the second term is just a mere possibility and it forces us to achieve the first responsibility to the elections, to the authorities that we have, the assemblies, the assemblies, the foreign, the provincial assemblies, and also with the circumscriptions that are here now. If there is a new term, 
we will have to work to achieve this, uh, this period of time. We cannot say that uh, there is only 90 days. And that will be after. Immediately after we have worked in this electoral council, there are, there, are, uh, there, are, there are dates to achieve this, and they should be achieved in the presidential debates, in the presidential campaign, and all that corresponds to it. Thank you. Authorities, good afternoon of Ecuador TV. I would like to ask you about the situation of the President Lasso. Do you have all the, the faculty to, to get the faculty to be in these elections? I would like to be more specific in about regarding the, uh, the suggestions in the Electoral Council and that is being carried out right now. Could, are you going to leave the presidential and later the populars? We have talked. We have talked about the possibility, and uh, the the council is aware that in this moment, for the country, we should take care of the resources, the resources of the of the country, and we cannot put in risk the quality of the electoral process, the efficiency, and the transparency that we should take into account. In this sense, we have to analyze that the subject of the, uh, of the suggestions that we have to do regarding, regarding the constitutional court that is given off a date, is given off 60 days to, to do this. So there's this express mandate that we have to uh, take into account that we see the possibility of we would like to have the processes regarding the budget. However, there are mandates that uh, because of the budget, they cannot be above all these constitutional mandates. And we have to analyze with a lot of, we have to analyze carefully. But in the few hours when we redefine the calendar, we'll talk about that. If it all joins together, we'll, we'll, or if we are going to have it by separate. About the possibility of the candidature of President Lasso, could this be guaranteed? The president does not have any uh, anything in order to to be a candidate. He can be a candidate. Good afternoon. My name is Ana Ortiz de Arespresso, president. Can you tell the cost that you have for the presidential elections? We are in the next few hours. We are working with the. You should understand that the budgets are not with the. We have to work with the 24 provinces, more the the budget, and we we should need responsibility. We have seven days to. But that all the areas are working at this. Authorities, buenas tardes. Authorities good afternoon. Jose Mendoza, David Tuteveo. I should ask another point. Is it going to exist a filter in the electoral council in order to. Or are they going to be based on the ones that are already there? We should take into account that this election is uh, we are rare, and what we're going to do is that all the efforts that are marked in the law and in the Constitution, so that they cannot be affected in the uh, participation. However, we should take we should take some decisions about the uh, rulers, the rulements about that we can facilitate the participation of the most of the organizations that are already there. Sadly, we will have to. We should take these drastic decisions because in the uh, democratic code there are not there are not there is not a day that the in order to ratify the authorities there is not time there is not time for for 90 days in order to achieve all that we have to take in we have to take with what is uh, what is in the law to 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 achieve the 90 days President, I would like to, to ask you three things. Taking into account these elections, that are, you are really tied with this, as you already said. Are you going to maintain the same uh, the same things, the same ethnic areas, and to the same areas that you work in 2023? In the informatic system, no. 
The all that you use for 2023 are going to be maintained in this context, given that you are against the clock, are you going to maintain the technical areas that you use in 2023? And if the uh, if the system of informatics that was used will be enough to these uh, four processes. I understand you about the provision places. What we are seeking is to optimize, to optimize the experience and the knowledge of all the technical, of all the personnel and all the people that are in these electoral process, processes. We are going to evaluate and uh, all the ones who have been uh, well being, uh, in the circumstances will be considered to, to have that service against because we value the experience, the knowledge, and that is also an inversion that costs to the country. We should take into account who, who is going to stay. The second question, for, for please. Will it be enough? Will it be enough uh, the informatic for these four processes? We are very real and the technical, the administrative. What we are going to need, what we are going to need once we have the budget in the table, is to count with everything because every minute, every minute, every day that passes is with. Every minute that passes is very important for us in order to respond to these new challenges. Authorities, good afternoon. I would like to for you to repeat when will be the uh, the elections. What is happening with the what will happen with the date that the law is given up for the domestic democracy and for the case as we have always seen in the electoral process of all the process that you have in in, in some places. You have talked about the members of the council. Is it possible to uh, to delay all these uh, to delay the date? <laughs> yes, of course. In order to to have these deadlines to elections, we have seven dates. This is from tomorrow. This starts the deadlines, and that means that in the 24 May is the is the deadline to have the elections. We can have it. We, this not uh, stop us from calling for elections. What we can do, what we cannot do, is to have the election after 24. The domestic democracy. What we have to achieve in all of this, in the electoral campaigns, three weeks before, is impossible to do it because we have not the time for that. That is how we have manifested that we are going to elaborate. We are, we are going to elaborate some uh, rulers in order to guarantee or to guarantee the domestic democracy, the debates, the campaigns, that they have the, the deadlines that we have within the United States regarding the resources that are within us. All the resources should be respected because it's a right. However, we should we should take into account that these lead deadlines would have to would have to be very short without affecting the process. That's what we'll, that will that is where we should uh, put an attention on the calendar. Authorities, good afternoon. Reyes Espinancias, you have said that there is not a budget, maybe uh, approximately a cost. Sorry, do not insist that it's not a budget right now. And I will be, it will be very, uh, very bad to, to say some budget. We don't have any more questions. In the few hours, in the next hour, we are going to keep you informed. One more question, if you allow me. 
We listened to the press conference of the National Electoral Council and the declaration of its president, Diana Tamayn. The official called on the political actors to carry out about the electoral process with the majority and seriousness that characterized them, and that the National Electoral Council will always make decisions in accordance with the Constitution and respecting the popular democracy. The law is clear and there are 90 days to call elections, expressed at a main, and the law obliges them to meet his deadline to elect the provincial assembly, if a second round is necessary. The other established deadlines should be met. The National Electoral Council, Diana Tamayn, the president, explained that for the national consultation we are required to wait 60 days. We have seven days until May 21st is a deadline to call for elections, say the president. And assured that for the next hour they will inform about the electoral calendars and its exact date and deadlines. The president does not have any legal impediment to be a candidate. The president of the uh, Ecuador, Guillermo Lasso, legally he can be one, say the president of the Electoral Council. Thank you for watching us, and we will provide you with more information in our next emissions.